What's crackalack and home slices? Today we're going over the Multiverses Season 4 1.4.0 patch notes. Season 4 is officially here. Let's get straight into it. General Azeras Metrion Zintos Raven joins the Multiverse. Raven is now available for purchase with Gleemium, a character ticket, a direct purchase, or through the White Raven Trigon's Air bundle. She can be purchased for 6,000 fighter currency or accessed through the Fighter Road starting November 15th. Anyways, this is Raven. Tell me, tell me what y'all think. First off, I love it. Raven looks absolutely amazing. We have the new arena mode. Bring a friend or 12 in this all new way to play multiverses. With support up to 16 players, 8 teams of 2 battle it out in round after round of intense combat. With each round, teams purchase power ups to build their strength and become the last team standing. Absolutely freaking peak. Look at that. 2v2v2v2v2v2v2. 2 v 2 v 2 v 2 v 2 v 2 it looks absolutely amazing. We have the brand new Fighter Road, which if y'all want to go check this out, it's on the official Multiverses website. Pretty much Fighter Road will be a new free way of unlocking every single character in the roster. There will no longer be a wall, a paywall, or anything. Absolutely freaking hype. Go check out the Multiverses website. I'll have the link in the description. Uh, Wacky Weekend returns with a new game mode. Queuing with Wacky Weekend has a chance to start a new way, a game of Star Contender. Use a limited moveset to knock Star Coins out of your opponent. First team to 7 coin wins. Ice Pit game mode has been removed from Wacky Okay. Okay, I like that. Hold on. I didn't even know it was going to get updates. Uh, Rifts, the Trigon on the loose PvE Rift is now available. The Welcome to Mythic Vista PvE Rift has been added and will unlock later in the season. This is These are the, uh, look at the variants, man. This looks absolutely freaking peak. Uh, the Enter the Arena event is now available. Azmarath, uh, Az Azarath Metrion Zinthos event is now available. The Trouble at the Academy event will be released later in the season. And uh, these are the new maps. We have Back to the Past and Back to the Past the Future. Uh, which I I'm pretty sure this will be one stage and alternate in between. Uh, we have new bonus maps. Space Station, Space Jam, Beach 2. Okay. Oh yeah, this is gonna be the map where you can play music. Absolutely freaking peak. And uh, these are the these are the stage changes. Uh, I'm only gonna go over a few of these because I don't understand fully what each of these changes mean. Bat cave, okay, hammer time. We don't really care about that. Ranked map pool. Back to the past has been added to the one v one and two v two pool for ranked. Beach has been removed from one v one and two v two. Space has been removed from one v one. Dexter's lab three has been removed from one v one. Okay. Unranked. Um. Okay. Netcode. Netcode compression. Algorithm improved to network traffic reduced by over 50% in most cases now adapts better to current network conditions to improve overall player feel game should play better during network spikes or cases of packet loss in case uh, in cases where the server needed to override a player's input uh, because it came in too late should now use predicted input before overriding you know what any change to network I don't fully understand it, but I know it's for the good of this game. Y'all already know, this is the big changes. General Combat Hitbox Update. We have done a large pass on hitbox placement and sizes across the cast to better match attack visuals to hitbox placement. Hitbox changes are listed in the character patches or patch notes. We have fast falling speed changes. So pretty much fast falling is way faster. Uh, Y'all can read this if you want to. Uh, we have short hops. Short hops are in the game. Absolutely peak. If y'all haven't seen the Into the Verse, go skim through it. Absolutely amazing. Parry changes. Successful parries can no longer be canceled into another neutral dodge. Okay. Uh, this will fix issues where players have been accidentally neutral dodging after a successful parry. Fighters now receive 10 frames of invulnerability after a successful parry. Okay, hold on. That's kind of nice. That's kind of nice. So pretty much, uh, does that include projectiles? I'm curious. Uh, hit hit sparks. Hit hit sparks have been updated for all attacks, including a major fix for directional hit sparks that have returns from the open beta. Oh my gosh, that's actually insane. Um, uh, damage stat tracker. Okay. Uh, automatic automatic teching. Uh, automatic techs have helped tremendously with mitigating 
mitigating am i saying the word yeah a toxic infinite combos built around ground bounces unfortunately they have also introduced new toxic combo routes against large characters that cannot tech far away enough to mix up their recovery direction with this change we hope to increase the power of directional techs to remove these problem combo routes uh, automatic tech forward launch velocity uh increased oh my gosh increased so much so now Pretty much, you read an auto tech, you might, you know, you might be able to still do a combo, but it won't be as consistent because the the distance that you auto tech will be much farther. Uh, general combat change: fighters will now push other fighters when colliding on the ground. Wait, what is this combat? Okay, enraged buff no longer applies. Weakened, weakened is out of the game. Absolutely peak. Fix an issue where hit stun would not properly apply when two attacks connected in quick succession. Uh, testing grounds shields are still in testing grounds perks okay hold on hold on this is a lot of perks stronger than ever now applies 15 gray health on respawn instead of two instead of armor for two seconds yeah i don't know what the armor for two seconds didn't really help that much um we have a sturdy dodger uh now applies two seconds for when stacked of armor after dodging a projectile increased from one second uh to when stacked after parrying a projectile that's flammable doc now ignites enemies for one second three when stacked down from three seconds five when stacked okay so it got a got a pretty big nerf um collateral damage got a buff now deals three damage to enemies that perform a tech when do when uh knocked back into terrain uh and a change static electricity um now electrifies your next projectile after successfully hitting four distinct moves against enemies in under three seconds now onto the characters now onto the freaking characters if you made it this far don't forget to drop a like we're gonna be dropping hella content on multiverse season four so definitely stay tuned for that this is absolutely amazing first off we have agent smith who got some pretty big changes uh ground side attack two which is the little mink, 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 right the little multi-punch um we have hitbox size adjusted to better match visuals okay so most of these changes are going to be hitbox adjustments same thing for attack three so okay uh hitbox size reduced so the attack is less likely to hit behind agent smith hitbox uh ooh, ground down attack knockback angle made more horizontal Knockback influence multiplier increased to 1.2 for 1.0. Air up attack now limits fast weight fall speed during attack recovery. Oh dear. Okay. Um, air neutral special fixed an issue uh, where this attack could be um, on hit canceled before all shots were fired. Okay. Uh, uh, causing inconsistent on hit uh, canceled combos. Uh, air slash ground side special. Uh, now limits uh, fall speed during okay attack recovery. Now on to Aria. This is a long patch notes. Jeez. Wait, first off, okay, okay, okay. Um, okay, general. Her ground movement speed has been increased. So, okay, okay. I mean, it's only by a little bit. Only by a little bit. Okay. Um, uh, ground down attack. Uh, hitbox size adjusted to better match visuals. Air neutral attack. Uh, knockback angle made more horizontal. Her neutral attack. That is. I, I don't know what her neutral attack I'll, I'll be honest. I don't I don't play Arya. I am trying to get into Arya though. Um knockback angle made more horizontal, hitbox size adjusted to better match visuals, now limits false speed during attack recovery, uh air side attack. Um okay, hitbox size adjusted to better match the visuals, now limits false speed during Okay, so these are changes. I don't really know if that's gonna be a buff or a nerf. Uh air up attack. Air up attack, uh, now limits false speed. Now limits fall speed for the uh, air slash ground side special as well. Banana guard got some huge freaking changes. If y'all didn't know, I'm a banana guard main mostly because he has a Marvin skin. So, anyways, ground dash attack hit pause, hit pause reduced. Um, hit pause reduced. Okay, uh, ground neutral attack hit box size adjusted to better match the visuals. Hmm, ground neutral attack. Uh, I don't really use that. We have the ground down attack, movement distance from charge increased. He got a buff on his ground down attack. That move, I mean, I'll be honest, nobody really uses it that much. So I'm glad, you know, it's getting a more recognition from the team. On hit cancel window, advanced two frames. Pretty peak, pretty peak. You know, two frames is, is a lot uh, these days. We have air neutral attack. That's the kick. 
now allows less movement control when used near the ground. Oh, since short hopping is going to be a thing. Yeah, that's going to... Okay. Uh, now limits fall speed during attack recovery. Air side attack. That's the little bonk. Um, we have now limits fall speed. Okay. Air up attack. Second hit. Second hit. Hit stun reduced. Oh, damn. So I can't do up air into up air into up air. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> now limits fall speed during attack recovery. Uh, air down attack. We have a uh, hit hit box active duration increased one frame. Okay, only one frame. I don't know how drastic that is, so we'll see in game. We have the ground down special. That's the cry on hit cancel window delayed 18 frames, so you can't do cry into cry into cry into cry. And final hit, um, hit stun reduced. Okay, interesting. We have air side special. That's the little uh, that's the rush with the with the with the spear. Now limits fall speed during attack recovery. And finally, air up special, which is the helicopter. A ground version unchanged. Final hit knockback reduced to 2300 from 2500. So a small little nerf on the knockback, uh, which I'm down for. You know, uh, final hit knockback angle made more diagonal. So it's not going to KO early. It's not going to KO early. You can't really... Uh... Oh, wait. But then if the second hit of the up air... Is hit stun reduced? You can't do up air into up special. Oh dear. Wait, that's a nerf. Wait, hold on. <laughs> that's a nerf. That's crazy. Okay, okay. Wait, wait, wait. He can't do up air into up special. I don't think anymore. A final hit knockback influence multiplier increased to 1.2 from 1.0. That's actually crazy. He can't do up air into up special. Ooh wee. Batman got... <laughs> I have to read all of this. I mean, okay. Can we make an exception, guys? I mean, I don't, I don't mean Batman. So, like, do I really gotta sit through all this? Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> okay, hold on. <sighs> okay. I'm ready. <laughs> Passive attacks no longer apply weakened debuff on hit while Batman is invincible. Amazing. Attacks have a small increase to knockback while Batman is invincible. Uh, that's that's pretty good. All right, let's see. Hitbox size reduced, so the attack is less likely to hit behind Batman. That's for his ground side attack one. Um, we have uh, let's see, we have a uh, ground side attack three. Wait, oh, oh, okay, so it's pretty much the same changes for ground side attack two and ground side uh ground side attack three. Uh, ground up attack. We have on hit weakened debuff removed batman is not eating this patch <laughs> uh ground down attack uh the kick follow-up um knockback reduced to 1850 from a 1900 knockback scaling reduced to 22 from 23 on hit weakened debuff removed jesus christ on hit cancel window ad advance four frames from the ground down attack uh sweep follow-up we have the air neutral attack uh now limits fall speed yeah uh, air side attack one, uh, knockback angle made more horizontal, uh, knockback influence multiplier increased to 1.2 from 1.0. Now limits fall speed. Air side attack two on hit, yeah, weekend debuff removed. This is huge. I really want to see how Batman's play now. Um, we have air up attack. Second, second hit knockback has been reduced. Uh, second hit knockback scaling reduced. Second hit knockback influence multiplier increased. Now limits fall speed. Now limits fall speed on air down attack as well. Uh, cooldown increased to 24 seconds from 20 seconds for his air slash ground neutral special. Uh, ground up attack. We have uh, now prevents fast fall. Okay. Um, full charge. First hit hitbox size reduced. So the attack is less likely to hit behind Batman. Uh, ground down special. What is that? Oh, smoke bomb. Smoke bomb area effect is now larger to better match the visual. Okay, uh, smoke bomb now gives allies besides Batman a 20% speed buff. Smoke bomb now removes enemy dodge meat. Whoa, wait a minute, that's a buff. Smoke bomb now removes enemy dodge meter while enemies are inside. That's kind of peak. I can't even lie. Y'all ate with that. Air up special, knockback scaling reduced. Yeah, that that move is uh, that move is, is toxic. It is a toxic move. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, air down special, uh, fix an issue where Batman hurt box would be misaligned when using air down special as part of the dodge attack. Okay. Uh, overall, uh, good Batman changes. I definitely want to see how Batman's play now. 
uh, Beetlejuice just hitbox changes uh, on his ground neutral attack, side attack 2 and 3, neutral attack uh, limit fall speed during attack recovery, air side attack, uh, yeah, pretty much hitbox change, limits fall speed, limit fall speed, okay, so he pretty much just got put in his place, <laughs> pretty much. Um, geez, are we just doing this with every character? Okay, hold on. <clears throat> All right, ground neutral attack now grants allies a lightning gauntlet buff on hit. Okay, okay. Uh, hitbox size adjusted to better match of visuals. This is for his ground neutral attack. Ground side attack one. Hitbox size reduced, so the attack is less likely to hit behind. Uh, and that is the same for his ground side attack two and his third one. Uh, the third one also. Uh, hitbox size reduced, so the attack's less. Okay. Uh, hitbox a uh, hitbox added to Black Adam's hands. That knocks back enemies that were not grabbed. Hmm. That is interesting. That is actually interesting. Air side attack. Uh, second hit knocked back angle made more diagonal. Um. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, people just could do side air into side air into side air. Like it's it's it's. I'm glad they're doing this. Um. Now limits now limits fall speed. Uh, hitbox size adjustment for his air up attack. Uh, air slash ground side special movement reduced uh, when Black Adam is fatigued. Uh, projectile now grants allies a lightning gauntlet buff. Uh, now limits fall speed. Ground side special or ground down special. Sorry. Uh, successfully blocking a projectile now reduces Black Adam's uh, active cooldown. A 7.5%. Um, fixed an issue where the projectile shield would not take damage from lightning projectiles. Uh, air down special, which is his bubble, I think. Uh, projectiles now granted allies a lightning gauntlet. And never mind then. I, I don't I don't know what that move is. Um, all right, that's cool. Overall, uh, good changes for Black Adam. I uh, don't understand him fully because again, I don't play the character. Um, but I do dabble into Bugs Bunny, which he did. Why am I still going? Like like what is this? <laughs> what? What is this? Wait, why can Bugs Bunny pull a dynamite out again? What is this? Why does he have a dynamite item? <laughs> okay, Acme box cooldown reduced to 10 seconds from 15. Crouch is gonna be broken. Acme box item pull startup window reduced 10 frames. Acme box item pull now moves towards nearby allies. Wait, Acme box item pull? What is this? Ground dash attack, knockback scaling increased. It doesn't need to be increased. Wait a minute. They're eating right now. Ground neutral attack. What is that? Oh, that's the little, the, the mallet. Um, let's see. Uh, hitbox size uh, reduced. Uh, yeah, less likely to hit by and Bugs Bunny. Maximum charge time reduced to three frames. Uh, ground side attack one on hit with cancel on hit. Oh, on whiff cancel window delayed four frames. Ground side attack two. Hitbox size reduced. So the attack is less likely to hit by and Bugs Bunny. Ground up attack. Uh, that's the kick. Uh, hit some reduced. Damn. So you can't do uh, <laughs> you can't you can't do ground up attack into neutral. Wait, I, I think that's what that means. Uh, air neutral attack up oh, and now limits fall speed. Okay, now limits fall speed. What does that mean? Um, pretty much you can't fast fall to the ground while doing the move. I think that's what that means. Uh, air side attack. Um, what is that? Oh yeah, uncharged knockback reduced to 1500 from 1750. Uncharged knockback scaling increased to 16.5 from uh, 14. On hit cancel window advanced three frames. Hitbox size reduced so the attack is less likely to hit behind. Hit pause reduced. Now limits fall speed. Air up attack. That's the bat. The bat is a very oppressive move. We'll see how they change it. Knockback reduced to 1500 from 1650. So it got a pretty significant nerf. Uh, knockback scaling increased to 19 from 15. Okay, I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. <laughs> uh, knockback angle made more oh, diagonally. Oh, so it's not as much vertical anymore. So it might not KO that uh that much. A uh, hit stun reduced. Oh dear. Uh, now limits fall speed. Uh, air down attack. That's the hammer. The mallet downward. Um, hitbox size reduced. Less likely to hit above Bugs Bunny. Startup window reduced one frame. Uh, air slash ground down attack. The pie equipped. Uncharged pie launch speed reduced. Um, charged pie launch speed increased. Uh, pie projectile now ignores platform collision. Uh, pie projectile knockback scaling increased to. Pie projectile knockback scaling increased to 15 from 1. 
<laughs> what is this? Uh, ground side special. That is, what is that for Bugs Bunny? That is, I don't know. We'll see. A rocket? Movement? Uh, I don't know anymore. Uh, movement increased. On hit cancel window advanced 14 frames. Hitbox added to Bugs Bunny's hand that combos into hit stun. Into stun hit. Wait, what's the, what's the difference between stun hit and hit stun? I don't get this. Uh, attacks can now be charged, reducing minimum startup window by 15 frames. All right, next up we have the air side special on cooldown. Uh, fix an issue where bugs could drift backwards during this attack. Fix an issue where this attack incorrectly broke armor. Uh, air slash ground up special um, on cooldown. Okay, incorrectly broke armor. Air slash ground down special. Uh, fix an issue where uh, where dodged projectiles would not hit enemies after exiting the tunnel. All right, all right. Now we're on to Finn, the Lord and Savior Finn. Let's see. I know he's gonna have the longest changes ever, 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 ever. Oh my freaking days! Oh my freaking days! All right, let's go. Come on, come on. General air movement. Speed increased to 1900 from 1775. Boots of speed buff visuals updated. Passive ally coin buff increased to 2 damage per stack from 1 damage per stack. Ally coin buff now loses only 1 stack on hit down from all stacks. Ally coin buff now, now grants armor break on a max 5 stacks. <clears throat> okay. Uh. Alright. Okay, not too shabby. Ground neutral attack, right? What is the ground neutral attack? Um, what is that? That's like the, the sword biz. Uh, knockback scaling increased to 18 from 15.5. Hit pause increased. Hit pause re increased, I mean. Uh, on a whiff cancel window delayed 10 frames. Okay, not bad. Uh, ground side attack 1. Animation and attack properties have been updated. Hitbox size adjusted to match new visuals. Uh, ground side attack 2. <coughs> Sorry, uh... Animation and attack properties have been updated. Uh, ground side attack three. Uh, does anyone really use this? I forgot even at a third one. I'll be honest. Uh, damage increased to six from 5.5. Uh, knockback reduced to 1750 from 1900. Uh, let's see. Uh, knockback scaling reduced to 16 from 18. Um, knockback angle made more horizontal. Hit stun increased. Uh, ground up attack, uncharged knockback reduced to 1100 from uh, 1350. That's for his ground up attack. Uh, Finn now launches himself to one height uh, regardless of charge. Wait, that's kind of crazy. <laughs> uh, damn. Damn. Um, ground down attack. Uh, first hit knockback influence multiplier decreased to zero from 1.0. 1 uh, second hit knockback or a second hit hitbox size adjusted to better match visuals. Uh, second hit knockback influence multiplier increased to 1.15 from 1.0. On hit cancel window delay three frames. Air neutral attack, I'll admit, uh, is, is pretty bun sometimes. But uh, knockback angle made more horizontal. Hit stun reduced. Knockback influence multiplier increased to 1.15 from 1.0. Um, air side attack one. Hit stun increased. Hit stun increased. Hit stun increased. What does that mean? That's that's kind of like serious, man. Like how much? <laughs> uh, hit pause reduced. On hit cancel window advanced one frame. Uh, on hit cancel window into air down attack delayed six frames. On with cancel window advanced 15 frames. Now matches on with cancel into air side attack two. Hitbox size reduced so the attack is less likely to hit behind Finn. Air side attack 2 on hit cancel window delay 8 frames. Uh, hitbox size reduced so the attack is less likely to hit behind Finn. The air up attack. That is uh, not really used as much. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say. Uh, knockback, uh, knockback increased to 1300 from 1100. Uh, knockback scaling increased to 14 from 15. Knockback angle made more horizontal. On hit, cancel window, delay 10 frames. On with, cancel window, delayed 8 frames. Hitbox size adjusted to better match the visuals. Now maintains more momentum during the attack. Air slash ground neutral special. Startup window uh, increased 2 frames. Hitbox active duration increased 2 frames. Ally shockwave now allows spawns when high five high fiving an ally. Wait, what? Ally? Wait. Air slash ground neutral special. Yeah, that is the high five. Ally Shockwave now 
always spawns when high fiving an ally. Um, now limits fall speed. Okay, uh, we have BMO hitbox size reduced. Okay, uh, now breaks arm. Now breaks armor. Really, he needed it. I can't even lie. Airside special, uh, now no longer automatically tracks towards nearest enemies or enemy projectiles. Now no longer has an active hitbox when Finn is dashing. Uh, Finn can now intentionally angle his side special dash up or down. Wait, so he has like, uh, he has like, uh, Samurai Jack side special? Is that what I'm hearing? Um, uh, attacks can now be charged, reducing uh, minimum startup window until movement, um, until movement by eight frames. Sweet spot hitbox added to Finn's sword tip. Damn. A uh, Garnet. Garnet, it looks like um she mainly uh, y'all can read this. She mainly just got hitbox changes and all that jazz. Uh Gizmo. Uh ground movement speed increased. Uh ground side uh fixed um okay. Fix an issue where Gizmo had fewer invulnerability frames uh, than the cast during his ground side dodge. Uh, y'all can read this. I can't even lie. It's mostly just, you know, hitbox changes, false speed changes. Harley Quinn, ground down attack one, uh, hit stun reduced on hit cancel window, advanced one frame on hit cancel window into ground down attack two, advanced one frame, uh, ground down attack two. Damn, that got some buffs. Damage increased to 8 from 7, knockback increased to 1850 from 1750, knockback scaling increased to 219 from 18, knockback angle made more horizontal, on hit cancel window advanced 4 frames, ground side attack 2, ground side attack 2, uh, hit stun reduced to uh, 225, 2.25 sorry, from 2.1, uh, this is to prevent an infinite loop, um, she had an infinite loop, damn. Uh, air, okay, uh, air neutral attack limits, uh, fall speed, uh, air side attack limit fall speed, air, uh, slash ground side special now limits fall speed, air up special, ground version unchanged now prevents fall speed, uh, fall, fast fall during attack. Okay. Iron giant, uh, now limit fall, okay, pretty much, uh, no changes, uh, no significant ones at least for iron giant. Jake though, uh, I was, I was told Jake was back during the uh, into the verse stream which you know we'll see okay let's go ground movement speed increased to 2150 from 2100 uh ground side attack one hitbox size reduced so the attack is less likely to hit behind jake movement uh reduced movement reduced on ground uh, side attack one okay ground up attack uh on hit cancel window advance one frame knockback influence multiplier increased to 1.5 from 1.0 we have a ground down attack, um, the, the split pretty much. Knockback angle made more downward to allow ground bounce combos. Wait, you're telling me ground down attack? I can do jab one into ground down attack to ground bounce, and then I could probably do uh, nair into into uh, air air special, uh, neutral special. That's probably gonna be a combo, right? Come on, uh, air neutral attack now limits fall speed. Okay, air side attack. The side attack is the stretchy punch. Uh, let's see what they do. It looks like a bunch of buffs so far. Uh, uncharged damage increased to 5 from 4. Uncharged sweet spot damage increased to 2, 6 from 5. Uncharged sweet spot, sweet spot knockback increased to 1450 from 1300. Uncharged sweet spot knockback scaling increased to 18 from 17. Uh, repeat move lockout reduced to 14 frames from 20 frames. Wait, repeat move. Wait, what? Wait, they buffed his air side special so you could do it quicker. You could you could pretty much just repeat the move. That's kind of crazy. Uh, on whiff cancel window delayed six frames. Valid. Um, air up attack limits fall speed change. Uh, air down attack second hit, air down attack second hit startup window reduced two frames. Okay. So it comes out much quicker because usually uh, I think people can dodge after the first one. Um, hitbox, well, of course, now you, you most likely won't be able to. A hitbox size adjusted to better match visuals uh, now maintains more momentum during the attack. Uh, on hit, weekend debuff removed for his air slash ground and neutral special, the bite. Uh, air slash ground side special, which is the horse, now maintains more momentum during the attack. Now limits fall speed. Jason. 
uh jason 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 you know i'm gonna be jason my dreams one of these days but you know we're here uh <laughs> hitbox active duration reduced four frames for his ground neutral attack uh, hitbox size reduced, so the attack is less likely to hit behind Jason for his ground side attack 1 and 2. We have air neutral attack, hitbox size adjusted to better match the visuals. Now limits fall speed during the attack recovery, and that's for his air neutral attack. Air side attack. Um, again, hitbox size reduced, so the attack is less likely to hit behind Jason. Air up attack, uh, which is his little jab jab in the air with a machete. Hitbox size adjusted, and limits fall speed air oh uh, sorry uh ground neutral special fixed an issue where certain grab attacks would not properly break jason's gray health armor um and finally air neutral special hitbox size adjusted to better match the visuals uh labronzo um okay uh quite a bit of changes let me just you know take a breather here <sighs> okay um General, ground movement speed increased to uh, 2180 from 2000. Uh, air movement speed increased to 1900 from 1600. Uh, okay, that's quite drastic, actually. Um, <laughs> ground side attack 1, hitbox size reduced, so the attack is less likely to hit behind LeBron. Air neutral attack. Um, we have air neutral attack, now limits fall speed. Um, air neutral attack, no basketball, now limits fall speed during attack recovery. Air side attack, hitbox size adjusted to better match the visuals. On hit cancel window, uh, delayed 5 frames. On whiff cancel window, delayed 10 frames. Oh, sorry. Second one was on hit cancel window. Um, I'm pretty sure I said that, but it might have sounded like whiff. So, you know, you gotta do all that. Uh, air side attack, uh, no basketball. Hitbox size adjusted to better match visuals. Now limits fall speed during attack recovery. Air down attack, no basketball. Startup window increased two frames. Hitbox active duration increased one frame. Hitbox size reduced so the attack is less likely to hit above LeBron. And finally, air slash ground size special, um, which is, what is that? Like his little, um, his little shoulder bash. Now limits fall speed. Marvin! Moment of truth! Is Marvin getting buffs? Is Marvin getting buffs? Oh, multiverse is gods. Hear my prayers. Is he getting buffs or bug fixes or nerfs? Or did they see my gameplay and decide to give him nerfs? We'll see. God, I'm nervous. I'm so nervous. I don't like it. Okay. Oh my. Oh my. Wait. Okay. 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 You know what? Let's not read too far. Ground side attack one. Hitbox active duration reduced one frame. Okay. Okay. Um, ground down attack. Ground down attack. That is his zap, right? Um, damage increased to nine from eight. Knockback increased to 1500 from 1400. Knockback scaling increased, um, to, uh, 18 from 17. Okay. His dash attack is pretty, uh, what's, what's the word? Uh, booty butt cheeks buns, right? Uh, final hit damage increased to 9 from 7. Base knockback increased to 1750 from 1600. And knockback angle on all hits made more horizontal to improve consistency. Thank you to whoever did this. Air neutral attack, which is the bubble, uh, now limits fall speed. Okay. Uh, air side attack. Air side attack. That move is b -b -b busted. Anyways, let's see. Uncharged. Um... Air side attacks busted. Uh, uncharged damage increased uh, to the seven from six. Uncharged knockback increased to. <gasps> Wait, what? Guys, guys, to all of my Marvin mains out there, this is huge. Uncharged knockback increased to sixteen hundred from one thousand. That is a drastic change to his air side attack. If you didn't know, his air side attack is the kick, and the kick doesn't really have much knockback um, unless you charge it, which now, uncharged, will pretty much be a KOing tool on the side of the stage. Uh, not side of the stage, but on the side of the map, which is huge. Uh, okay, now next up, knockback scaling reduced to 21 to 15, okay? From 21 to f nah, 19, I mean, sorry. Um, knockback angle made more diagonal. Diagonal. Um... Like vertically or like, or not vertically, but like, you know, up or down, like diagonally. Um, on hit branch window delayed one frame. 
Okay, wait. So I can't do side air into button? Aw, oh, damn. That might be kind of buns. Um, hit stun reduced? Yeah, no, I won't be able to do side air into button. Uh, now maintains more momentum during attack startup. We have air down attack. Um, hitbox size reduced. Yep. Likely to hit above Marvin. Okay. That's a significant nerf, actually. Um, air side special. Hitbox size adjusted. It needs it. Air, uh, now limits fall speed. It needs it. Air slash ground neutral special. Um, what is that? Am I tripping? What is that? Oh, it's the, it's the button. I'm so dumb. Um, <laughs> uh, now limits fall speed. Damn. Wait. I think he got quite a bit of nerfs on the on the combos that he um he already has. Damn. Uh air slash ground up special. Fix an issue where the rocket projectile will occasionally inherit attack properties of Marvin's charge attacks. I, I did not even know that. Um we have Morty, right? Oh, uh, we're pretty much like what, halfway through. So if you haven't already, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. You know, uh it helps out here and there. Uh, movement speed increased to 2080 from a 1950 for his general movement speed, right? Ground side attack, uh, neutral attack follow-up, which is the whip. Visuals adjusted to better match hitbox size. Um, air side attack 1 now limits fall speed during attack recovery. Air side attack 2, hitbox size reduced so the attack is less likely to hit behind Morty. Uh, air up attack now limits fall speed uh, during attack recovery. Next up, we have Nubia. Attack speed, or sorry, <laughs> I got ahead of myself there. General uh, ground movement speed increased to 2275 from 2250. Um, air neutral attack, which is the spear, the spear spin, I guess. Uh, first hit now reliably combos in the second hit. Um, on whiff cancel window delayed two frames. Uh, now limits fall speed during attack recovery. Air down attack now limits fall speed during attack recovery. Air slash ground neutral special on hit cancel window delayed three frames. Fix an issue where all projectile blocks were stopping Nubia spear. Uh, ground side attack. Um, or oh, sorry, side special. Um, on hit cancel window delayed uh, four frames. Air side attack. Um, first a hit and now more reliably combos in the second hit at high damages. Uh, air slash ground down special. Now more reliably dashes to ally position. Next, we have Rain Dog, <clears throat> um, which my opinion on Rain Dog, because uh, I have been playing him recently, I do think he is, uh, he's pretty busted, you know, in, in 1v1s at least. Uh, I haven't tried him in twos, but, um, you know, he's all right. He's all right. Ground movement speed increased to 2165 from 2150. Ground side attack one, hitbox size reduced, so the attack is less likely to hit behind Rain Dog. Air side attack now limits fall speed during um attack recovery. Uh, air slash ground neutral special. Uh, tether projectile now ignores. Uh, okay, pretty much a platform collision. Tether projectile now ignores blast zone collision. Um, air side special now limits fall speed. Okay, uh, Rick hitbox size reduced so the attack is less likely to hit behind Rick. For his, uh, okay, that's good actually. Uh, ground down special, uh, running me seeks hitbox size increased air side attack, knockback influence multiplier increased to 1.1 from 1.0 knockback angle made more slightly horizontal. Now limits fall speed during attack recovery air slash ground side special and air slash ground side special or up special. I mean, uh, hitbox size has been adjusted Do better match the visuals. Um, I'm freaking tired vocally. <laughs> This is oh my gosh! How many more peeps? I think uh, we have a we have a long way to go. <clears throat> gosh, passive focus special attacks no longer apply weakened debuff on hit. I forgot he had weakened. I can't even lie. Um, we have ground side attack one and two hitbox size adjusted. A uh, ground up attack. Um, Samurai Jack can now cancel the attack on hit after the first hit before the second hit has begun. I'm a Samurai Jack main. I'm a Samurai Jack main. I know what to tell you. Fix an issue where Samurai Jack could slide off the ledge during this attack. Uh, air neutral attack now limits fall speed. Um, air side attack hitbox size adjusted. Air neutral special hitbox added to 
Samurai Jack's arms that knocks back enemies that were not grabbed. Okay. Um, now limits fall speed. Uh, and finally, uh, air down special, air slash ground up special, and focus air down special. All of them have had their hitbox size adjusted. Shaggy. Shaggy. Okay. <sighs> okay. Ground neutral special. Right? Uh, hitbox size adjusted, so the attack is less likely to hit behind Shaggy. Ground side attack 2 and 3, hitbox size adjusted. Ground up attack, uncharged knockback increased to 1550 from 1450 on hit cancel window delayed 8 frames. On whiff cancel window delayed 6 frames. Ground down attack, on hit cancel window into ground side attack removed. Ground down attack 2. Um, on uh, Hitbox size adjusted. Um, air neutral attack, now limits fall speed. Air slash ground side special, now limits fall speed. Uh, <laughs> ground up special air version unchanged now prevents fast fall during attack start window or startup. I'm s my voice is so tired. Ground up special sandwich damage reduced to five from nine. Uh, sandwich knockback reduced to sixteen hundred from twenty nine hundred. That is a that's more than drastic. That's like a, a a that's a cataclysm over here. Like that's 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 drastic. That's that's ballistic. That is a huge, massive nerf to a sandwich. Um, uh, sandwich knockback scaling increased to 15 from 12.5. Uh, air down special fixed an issue where fighters grab uh, grabbed by Shaggy could become stuck in terrain. Uh, rage air slash ground up special early hits now more reliably combo into final hit on hit weekend debuff removed. Uh, rage air slash ground down special. Shockwave on hit, weekend debu debuff removed, and finally, Rage Air slash Ground Neutral Special on hit, weekend debuff removed. Um, we go. We're about to see Stripe too. Jesus. Hopefully, I don't know. I don't know what I want with Stripe anymore. Um, Ground Side Attack two. Uh, hitbox size reduced. Okay. Uh, Air Side Attack. Now limits fall speed. Air slash Ground Side Special. Shields now slowly descend when anything is on top of them. Air slash ground side special now limits fall speed. Air slash ground up special shields now slowly descend when anything is on top of them. Okay. Um. Damn. Uh, general ground uh, movement speed increased to twenty three fifty from. Wait, that's actually one hundred by a hundred. Okay, you know what? He he's more like uh. More like beta stripe in terms of speed now. Uh, head hurt box size increased will fit will fix certain projectiles whiffing versus stripe on the ground. Um, okay. Air slash ground neutral special startup window increased one frame now limits false speed during attack recovery. And y'all can read this, uh, but it's pretty much hitbox adjustments and false speed adjustments. Superman um, ground dash attack on hit cancel window advanced two frames knockback angle made more diagonal. Um, we have ground side attack one, two, three, and four hitbox size reduced, and knockback angle made more horizontal on his fourth hit. Um, on his fourth side attack, sorry. Ground down attack, uncharged knockback increased to 1350 from 1250. Uh, hitbox size reduced, so the attack is less likely to hit behind Superman. Knockback angle made more horizontal. Air neutral. Why is this patch so freaking? <laughs> Okay. <sighs> okay. Air neutral attack. Final hit knockback reduced to 1450 from uh, 1500. Oh, sorry. 1400 from 1500. Hitbox size reduced so the attack is less likely to hit behind Superman. Now maintains more momentum during attack startup. Now limits fall speed. Air side attack. Uh, hitbox size adjusted to better match visuals on hit cancel window delayed four frames. Okay. So that's a small nerf on his side attack. Um, we have air slash ground neutral special and the ground up special. Wait, no, uh, air slash ground neutral special limits fall speed and the ground up special hitbox size adjusted. Uh, ground up special hitbox size or sorry, head hitbox uh, startup window reduced four frames. Head hitbox active duration increased six frames. Head uh, hitbox size reduced so the attack is less likely to hit behind. 
Superman, um, on hit, cancel window, advanced three frames. On whiff, cancel window, delayed seven frames. Laser explosion, hitbox size adjusted to better match the visuals. Air, uh, down special, he head hitbox position adjusted to better match visuals. Okay. Overall, um, don't know what this means for Superman. I'll be honest. Taz. Uh, ground down attack, knockback angle increased to 1450 from, uh, 1200. So, I don't think it's a combo tool anymore. Uh, I don't know. Like, I don't see, you know, a Taz is doing a down attack into another jab. So, I mean, that's good. Knockback angle made more horizontal. On hit, cancel window, advanced two frames. Hitbox size adjusted to better match visuals. Air neutral attack now limits fall speed. Air side attack, repeat move lockout reduced 12 frames from 15 frames. Air up attack now limits fall speed. Air down attack first hit a hitbox active duration increased one frame. On hit, cancel window, advanced four, seven frames. On his air down attack? Wait, so that's going to be a combo tool like crazy? <laughs> um, now last fast fall. Okay. Uh, air slash ground neutral special on hit weekend debuff removed. Uh, air slash ground side special on whiff cancel window delayed 12 frames. Now limits foul fall speed. Uh, air slash ground down special on hit branch window advanced two frames. Now limits fall speed. Okay. That's nice. Um, the Joker. General uh, ground movement speed increased to uh, 2120 from 2040. Uh, ground side attack 1 and 3. Hitbox size adjusted. Uh, ground up attack. Startup window increased 1 frame. Hitbox active duration reduced 1 frame. Um, we have air neutral attack. Now limits fall speed. Air side attack. Uh, hitbox size adjusted. Now limits fall speed. Air neutral special, now limits fall speed, and that goes the same for air side special. And finally, ground up special, air version unchanged, hitbox size adjusted. Uh, we are down to the last couple people. Why Why am I still scrolling on Powerpuff Girls? Why am I still scrolling on Powerpuff Girls? Okay. Okay. If y'all have not already, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe, man. You know, this really helps out. Um, and, and you know what's crazy? These patches will get longer. They will get longer and my voice will be shot out by tomorrow. I bet you. <laughs> Anyways, let's continue. Um, God, allies now gain a speed buff uh, while Bubbles is the active leader. Allies now gain a knockback buff while Buttercup is the active leader. The Powerpuff Girls size reduced 13 frames. Fixed an issue where certain attacks were not properly triggered. A uh, controller triggering controller rumble. Air neutral attack, right? <laughs> not knockback reduced to 1850 from 2800. Knockback scaling increased to 18 from zero. Oh, okay, so it's not a combo tool. Um, um, knockback angle made more vertical. Now limits fall speed during attack recovery. Now maintains less momentum during attack startup. On hit cancel widow delayed eight frames. Uh, air side attack now maintains more momentum during attack startup. Now limits fall speed during attack recovery. Air up attack on hit cancel window into air slash ground up special advance eight frames. Uh, on whiff cancel window advanced five frames. Now limits fall speed during attack recovery. We're gonna speed run this man because why not? Air down attack repeat move lockout increased twenty five frames from sixteen frames. Air neutral special air version unchanged. Buttercup attack knockback increased to twenty two hundred from nineteen fifty. Buttercup attack knockback angle. Made more horizontal blossom attack final hit knockback increased to 1400 from 1200 on uh, a blossom uh, blossom attack final hit knockback scaling increased to 22 from 12 blossom attack on a hit ice debuff reduced to four stacks from five ground side special buttercup throw knockback scaling increased to 15 from six that's pretty huge bubbles uh throw knockback scaling increased to 26 from 13 huge bubble throw knockback angle made more diagonal towards the other girls uh, on hit cancel window advanced five frames startup window before charge reduce five frames ground down special on hit cancel window advanced six frames air side attack or sorry air side special um knockback scaling increased to 20 from 18 bubbles leader dash attack dash hitbox knockback increased to uh, 3000 from 2400 buttercup leader dash hitbox knockback increased to 2450 from 2400 buttercup leader dash hitbox knockback angle made more vertical on hit cancel window uh delayed six frames tom and jerry 
my gosh. Um, <laughs> Eric Down Special. Knockback reduced to 1800 from 2000. Uh, knockback scaling increased to 24 from 19. Knockback angle made more vertical. On hit cancel window advanced 17 frames. Air side special. Okay. Wait, so what can you do after then? I don't even know. Rainbow dash perk. Uh, nerfs. All right. On to the next one. All right. We're down to the last three. Please. Oh, God. I'm dying. I can't do this anymore. <laughs> uh, okay. General ground movement speed increased to 2175 from 2125. Ground side attack 1, 2. Uh, hitbox size reduced. And ground side attack 3 and 4. Hitbox size adjusted. We have air side attack, hitbox size adjusted, and limits fall speed. Um, and finally, for air down attack, ground down special, and air side special, hitbox size adjusted. Well, not for air side special. Instead, it's limits fall speed. We have Velma. Um, uh, pretty much uh, movement speed increase for, uh, in general. Um, we have uh, ground side attack 1, 2, and 3, hitbox size adjusted. Air side attack now limits fall speed. Air down attack, hitbox size adjusted. Ground down special, which is the mystery machine. Fix an issue where fighters could disappear permanently after being captured by the mystery machine. Air side special on hit cancel window advanced one frame. Now maintains more momentum during attack. Hitbox size adjusted to better match the visuals. And finally, finally, the home run. The holy grail. The finisher of the whole thing. If y'all haven't already, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. Because I, this is, this has been a show. This has been... Oh my gosh, I just want to thank everyone in this community for bringing me here, you know. Um, I couldn't have done it without y'all, truly, and the support. And, you know, stay tuned. I feel like we have a lot more in the future. Oh, wait, I'm not even done yet. I'm done. Okay. Uh, Wonder Woman. Ground side attack one. Hitbox size reduced. Ground side attack two. Hitbox size reduced. Ground side attack three. Hitbox size reduced. Air side attack. Hitbox size reduced. Air up attack. Hitbox size adjusted. And finally, ground size special. Hitbox size reduced, so the attack is less likely to hit behind Wonder Woman. And we're done. My voice is freaking tired, man. I just want to play this patch. The patch isn't even out yet. It will be out soon, though. So stay tuned for the freaking stuff, for all this jazz. We're about to freaking go ham with this season. And, you know, and all that jazz. Uh, what do I think about this patch? Um, I totally forgot everything before the character changes because th these character changes were so long marvin um where's marvin am i tripping am i tripping guys marvin is right here marvin's changes uh he got some significant uh nerfs but also some changes his air side attack got the biggest buff of its lifetime um so but there's also right uh keep in mind if your character got nerfed there are also the unlisted changes that you will find later on this this always happens um so i'm definitely hyped to see uh the marvin combos um side attack doesn't combo into button anymore which kind of sucks because that was sort of like the sauce that he had um but i am breeze so you know i'll find every marvin combo out there Anyways, that's all I got for you today. If you haven't already, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. We're on the road to 1k subs and it would be greatly appreciated. Also, I stream on Twitch, twitch.tv slash I am Breeze, where we stream multiverses. Absolutely insane. This season's going to be peak. Comment down below if you're going to main uh, freaking Raven. Uh, and, you know, uh, if y'all pop off. Anyways, that's all I got for you today. Peace.